I get a call from one of the nurses in the local hospital to say that uh, there was a child who was uh, at 600 and was alone in the hospital. So we went in to visit and to try and give her some support. She dropped out of school, although she was smart because she continually wasn't in control of her health because of her diabetes. She attended our programs. She was very open to learning, very quick to learn. And within two months, she was back in school. And you could see not only in her, but you could see in her, her father's eyes and in her, her grandmother's eyes as well, there was this newfound hope that they were not going to watch their, their daughter or granddaughter pass away. organization that make a difference in the lives of many people using youth to youth as a model. Um, what, uh, what would you, I don't know, what would you say in the CCR? I've heard a lot. Anticipated feeling, I'm waiting for the kids to come. I think it's going to be crazy because there's going to be like 30 kids in my group, it's just going to be a lot of like trying to speak in Spanish, teaching these games, checking blood sugars, but I'm excited. A lot of the people here and a lot of the people on the program, just so much love for what they do and you know, the passion that you feel they put into it every single day. Um, I think it's good to be in that kind of environment. The statement for IOTA is, together we are stronger. And I think that's a really big thing. We're quite a small team, but we're really capable of big things when we work together, which is really cool. Y educar para mí es es darle vida a las personas porque entiendo que cuando uno tiene el conocimiento tiene poder. Coca Cola. Y la condición de diabética es de diabético es una condición en que uno eh, no tiene que aislarse ni esconderse ni etiquetarse, sino que al contrario eh, se puede vivir una vida sana, integrada, feliz. Eh, en pocas palabras, aprender a vivir. I think there's a lot of lapses in communication and education about when to inject and you know what kind of the medical side of it and you know the social side of it um, that I think without Ayuda it's hard to really seal those gaps in the knowledge about diabetes. Y con la ayuda de ayuda podamos eh, tratar de combatir esa falta de educación eh, en los pacientes diabéticos en República Dominicana. El testimonio más agradable de todo lo que es aprendiendo a vivir es que nosotros recibimos gente con problemas y mandamos a la casa gente un poco más tranquila. Even just the motto, like juntos somos más fuertes, is something that I have found to be very true over the past seven years. Uh, and each new community we work with, um, it's amazing the strength and support and the love as well that we get from, from those people and, and the difference that you see in the children. Seeing the reaction from the kids and the parents when I tell them that I have diabetes, they're kind of very shocked that someone my age can be living with this so well and it's really nice to see them kind of look up to me. Ayuda is an institution that works fundamentally empowering young people to Entes de cambios sociales. Ayuda es una institución formada por jóvenes 
y que trabaja directamente con niños y jóvenes. Kids are they're full of life when they find out that they have diabetes, that they feel a little down about themselves, but we're assuring them that this obstacle of diabetes isn't insurmountable and that you know they're not alone in this world. I think that's the biggest part about having this camp for the kids every year is that they get to meet other kids that otherwise at school they can be the only person with diabetes, but when they're at camp, everyone has diabetes, everyone's dealing with the same issues and everyone's kind of on the same page. I think it changes their lives. Uh...